Hello everyone, this is Ankita Rani and today in this video I will continue with the usage of must. Actually, in the previous video I only dealt with the three usage of must. So, I will take the other uh, other usage of must. Okay, the next usage is the fourth one. It also expresses necessity. So, with the help of must we can, you know, express necessity. I think this word is familiar to you the what is the meaning of necessity necessity can be expressed as you know need requirement essential right so you can say like this okay let's just begin with the example the first example is i must finish the work today if suppose that if i'm saying this this sentence i must finish the work today it means I am telling that in other sentence, in other way I am telling that I am very much in need to finish the work today. Why? Because you know I am already very late for the submission of my work or my assignment. Getting me? So uh, through the must it is expressed that you know the need is of high degree. It is a strong need. Right? Strong need to what? The strong need to finish the work today. Because I am already very late for the submission of work. So you can express, you know, the necessity with the help of must. Again, uh, the second one. We must do as we are told. Again, through this sentence, we can express that, you know, we must, you know, we must according, we must do ac accordingly as we are told, right? Since we have applied so many, you know, methods, so many tricks, na, and nothing is working. So, you know, it's it's you know it's the need of the art it's essential you know uh, it's essential to what it's essential to do according to the thing uh, according to the you know suggestions we are getting right we must do as we are told right now there is no need to apply our own tricks our own you know system so we must do according to the things which we are you know getting as a suggestion right so with the help of must we can express necessity now let me remind you one thing that you know uh, as in my previous video i i would relate i related must with a strong so don't forget this again you can see that again you are getting the feeling of a strong so always remember that must indicate what a strong sense of anything like a strong sense of duty, strong sense of obligation, a strong sense of advice, a strong sense of necessity, you know, like in these two sentences, you can, you know, conclude this strong sense of necessity. Necessity is the, you know, strong sense. So you can never forget that always include, always, you know, connect this must with the st strong sense, right? A strong sense of something a strong sense of uh, anything okay okay moving to the next exam usage of must the next one is must be you know must be expresses what probability or likelihood you know at many places you can come across this structure must be must plus be so what you are going to interpret then you should interpret like that there is a probability or there is a sense of likelihood okay so let me just explain through the example first example is he must be mad to do that suppose that you know if i am saying uh, for my friend you know he must be mad to do that why i am saying for my friend like this because you know i am i am indicating towards my friend that you know he is almost like a mad why because you know i have heard that he has accepted a risky challenge for only 100 rupees right so i can you know give my uh, uh, give my you know opinion in this way i can give it will be my instant reaction Right? He must be mad to do that. You know why he accepted that challenge just for only 100 rupees. So you can, we, I can, you know, give my instant reaction in this way that he must be mad to do that. It means my meaning is to, if I say this sentence, it means I am saying my friend that he is almost like a mad to do such thing. Getting me? So you can, so in this way, you can see, you can notice that a, a sense of probability or sense of likelihood is being expressed. Okay. The next one is, next example. He must be an idiot. Again, 
again a sense of likelihood or probability is coming if i am saying he must be an idiot suppose that if i am saying about my you know uh, about my uh, known person about my friend if i am saying like this it means i am indicating toward that person that he is a almost like an idiot why he did so why he talk like that right why he is doing so so he is almost like an idiot you know he he just exchange uh, he, he just you know fight with his uh, colleague he you know um, disobeyed his boss so he must be an idiot because he must be aware about the consequences that what uh, you know what can be the consequences but still he ignored all the thing and you know he indulged in you know uh, indulged in fight so he must be an idiot right so you can express in this way you are expressing the likelihood like he is almost like an idiot okay moving to the next usage of must must not is another expression definitely we we include must with not uh, right uh, so whenever we write must not it denotes what it denotes it expresses prohibition and uh, emphatic advice so i think till uh, up till now you must have you know learned about this word what is prohibition because earlier in earlier videos i have also mentioned this word prohibition so there is no need to tell the meaning of prohibition right and emphatic what is emphatic it's emphasis giving emphasis to you know something emphatic advice so let's just begin with the examples suppose that if i have if i have written example you must not tell a lie it means i am i have i am prohibiting someone to not to tell a lie right i am restricting someone to please don't tell a lie always be truthful so in this way i am prohibiting someone i am restricting someone to do something right the second one you must not drive fast again in this uh, sentence you can uh, you express you can notice one thing that i am what i am prohibiting i am prohibiting to not to drive fast you know it can be dangerous so you must not drive fast right it's again it's again a, a prohibition right or you can take or you can say it's again a like an emphatic advice okay the next one is you must not miss the movie right in this uh, through this sentence you can get a feeling like someone is giving you advice why because you know this movie is a uh, very inspiring you will be ins you will inspired you will learn a different thing uh, thing so you must not miss the movie it's like an uh, advice a strong advice right so you must watch the movie where it's a very good one okay so in this way you can express different shades of meaning with the help of must okay the moving to the next usage uh, suppose that you know uh, only i have written one sentence like in negative don't use must not but use need not yes just to explain this line i just want to tell you that it suppose uh, suppose that if someone ask you a question including you know uh, must if someone ask you a question which has a must in it so what you are going to answer suppose that if you want to affirm if you are saying yes su suppose that someone is asking must i go with you so uh, yes you must if this answer is affirming then you can say yes to you must you are using again must but if you want to deny right Uh, if you don't want to don't want want that person to come with you so if you are want to deny so what you are going to do you are just going to you know use need not in place of must not so don't use must not see as thing i think you can see here don't use must not always use need not in that place so so you are going to reply no you need not you must be thinking that here we should write must not but here no we should always write li write like need not right there is no need to write must not must not is a wrong expression so in this way you can answer a question which has a must in it so i think uh i think the things are clear to you in the next video i will try to finish the rest of the model work till then bye and thanks for watching my video